Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 972, where we have 36 moves to collect 12 yellow candies. Our problem is we don't have any yellow candies on the board, but we do have lucky candies, and lucky candies always correspond directly to order fulfillment. So I first have to unwrap these, then somehow I have to activate them, and then once they're activated I have to collect them. And it's hard because they're scattered throughout. So these are going to get unwrapped, turn yellow, and then I have to collect them. So I'm going to try to make some specials to help me. Right here I see, I'm going to take out some frosting too because that's important. And I think I can get a color bomb here. It's relatively easy to make specials on this board. That means it's also relatively easy to accidentally detonate them, and I have to be careful about that. Watch this now. I'm going to unleash all of these green. I haven't activated them yet. I have to find a way to activate them, but at least I'm closer here because now they don't have to be unleashed. Striped wrapped combos work really well on this board if I can get there from here. So here's the problem. I have two yellow, but I have no way to pair them up now. And that's one of the difficulties of this board. But that is why we rely so heavily on specials to help us out, like this nice striped wrapped combo. It'll collect those guys and open up a few more. Now I need 10, and I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 on the board in various conditions. So that means that one, I've got one extra. Now on the last level, we were introduced to this concept of having to kind of find these yellow in these mystery, or in these lucky candies. And there I had several extras, but I needed them because I also had um, chocolate on the board. And here there's nothing that can attack these mystery candies. These lucky candies. I'm going to keep calling them mystery, aren't I? I know what's in there. It's a yellow. Just have to access it. This one might be that orphan one that I leave behind. I am uh, letting some of the specials that I have on the board go because, like I said, it's relatively easy to make specials. I have to concentrate on what's going to get me the best value, and I love this as a good value because not only does it activate these, it also oftentimes collects them for me. So that might end up being the orphan now because everything is so separate I have to kind of hunt them down individually. But like I said, we've got these specials to help us. So that one's gone. And now how can I grab this one? I could do a striped or a wrapped. I'm going to do a wrapped and try to match it up with a stripe and shoot over this way. Ooh, look at all these blue. Not quite. Okay, I think I got it here. Alright, so that's how I beat it. That was my third playthrough for recording purposes. I didn't find this one too difficult. It just took me a while to get into the swing of it, I think. I got better each time. And that's important. When you play a level and you first start developing your strategy, really look. If you, if you didn't beat it the first time, think of why you didn't beat it and try to figure out a way to get there. And for me, it was instead of focusing on making specials up here, getting right down into where the yellow was located. If you'd like to see more videos, you can subscribe. If you have any questions or comments, please put those below. And as always, thanks for watching.